guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in with your local credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and the first thing that we have to do just simply click on this development mode just simply click over here now wait for a couple of seconds and once your development mode is enabled then click on this develop option and then click on this quick lab e-commerce now it will take a couple of seconds to load the data meanwhile in description box i will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now the first thing that you have to do here you can see file name just copy this name and make sure that you do not copy an extra space just copy this name come back over here wait for a couple of seconds and once you see this view option if you just hover over here you can see this three dot then click on this create view just simply paste the name and then click on this create now wait for a couple of seconds now here you can see inside a view you can see this file name now just remove this content just simply come back over here just simply scroll down and just try to copy from the bottom and one more thing i already separated the command so just copy like this way just copy like this and paste over here and then click on this save changes is done now if you just simply scroll down now where we have to make changes in training underscore e-commerce so just simply click on this model option then click on this training underscore e-commerce now just remove this content now again just simply scroll down try to copy from the bottom like this copy that paste over here and then click on this save changes is done then click on this validate it will take a couple of seconds to validate it and it's done and as you can see no errors so just simply click on this commit option now for the message just simply type quick lab and then click on this commit and it's done then click on this deploy to production and it's done now click on this looker option then click on this explore option now i request you please watch the video carefully because this is a very important part of this lab is here you can see order items just open this thing in new tab for the two times as you can see then click on this order item now wait for a couple of seconds now here you can see quick lab task one just simply click on here now it will take a couple of seconds to load the data meanwhile just simply come back to the lab instructions come on the task number one and just check the point number 27 as you can see title just copy this title carefully make sure that you do not copy this full stop just make sure of that thing just copy like this now please pay attention we have to make three changes over here now here you can see visualization just choose as a pie chart okay now here you can see brand name let me just zoom in over here as you can see if you just hover over here just make it as ascending order as you can see is done now if i just simply zoom out from here you can see row limit just type 10 and once you're done with all these three changes make sure that you have to click on this run i'm again saying once you're done with all these three changes you have to click on this run now just wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now click on this gear icon then click on this save and save as a loop now just paste the name which just copy from the point number 27 just paste over here and then click on this save it's done now just simply switch back to the second tab now for the second tab just simply click on this quick lab task 2 and it's loading a data meanwhile just simply switch back to the third task or just simply click on this quick lab task 3 now just wait for the both the tasks get complete as you can see it's running and it's running so just wait for a couple of seconds and once your data is loaded you are done with this lab And it's done now if you just simply switch back to this tab and it's also done now if you just simply come back to the live instruction and if you just simply scroll down and if you just simply click on this check my progress let's see if we got a score or not and as you can see we are getting this kind of error no need to worry about that because lab take time to update the score so i request you once you're done with all these changes just wait for at least five to six minutes you will get a score without any issue so just wait and let's see we will get a score without any issue
and as you can see score is updated automatically i have to just wait for at least two to three minutes and for me the score is updated now if i just simply click on this take my progress i will get a score without any issue now if i just simply come back to the task number two and just take the score over here i will get a score without any issue let's see we got a score over here or not and as you can see i got a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section i'm again saying sometime lab take time so no need to worry just wait and you will get a score without any issue so thanks for watching and have a good day guys